We're here with Mike Stangle with Marriott International, who represents the Gaylord brand. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And I understand uh, you guys, uh, Gaylord has a big property coming in uh, near Denver International Airport. Maybe you can tell our viewers about yeah, that. Yeah, this is an exciting uh, property for us. I mean, we have, uh, it, this is we the first Gaylord uh, branded hotel that Marriott has added since, uh, since we've taken the company in 2012. Uh, it's really a great footprint. It's about four miles outside of Denver Airport. Uh, it's a great platform for where we, where we want to do with our um, our business and how we rotate our business from one Gaylord to another. It opens us up to the Western market. More is available to us. It's a great airport, uh, both internationally and domestically. So it has all the pieces to make this a very successful hotel. Actually, we're working on deciding whether we want to expand the hotel already, and it's not built yet. Uh -huh. So we're, we're, we plan to open in November of 2018 as our target. So uh, tell us what other things are going on at Gaylord that our viewers might need to know about. Well, you know, we have a lot of aggressive projects going on. We just finished uh, at the Palms. We just finished uh, adding an entire addition to our pool facilities with, with new um, uh, slides. And we added the first wave runner at a hotel. This should be really exciting to watch. We actually hired a professional that's going to run the wave runner that actually can do tricks in the really? and ski and water skiing. I'm never getting any. Yikes! But uh, we did that. We added about 11 more guest rooms to the to the palms uh, by taking out some office space, and we retooled one of the restaurants. We put this great uh, new uh, fresh seafood restaurant called mm -hmm. Moore. And then National Harbor, we're adding a social ballroom right on the water called mm -hmm. the Riverfront Ballroom. It's spectacular. It's all windows, faces the Potomac, great place for weddings. We use it more for the social sides of the business, and we think that's great for National Harbor, coupled with the fact that we have a new neighbor. Uh, MGM has built a new casino that opens in a few months, and you know we're, we're going to partner with them very closely because the, there's going to be a lot of uh, activity in National Harbor, to say the least. Um, down at uh, Opperland, we are working on finalizing the plans to build a major, major water park that's attached to the hotel. It's kind of an adult level water park at three different levels with lots of restaurant and bar space inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope to have that uh, uh, design uh, done by the end of the year and try to begin that project in the next year. Wonderful. And then, you know, tell our viewers, um, how does uh, the marriage of Marriott and Gaylord what does Gaylord bring to Marriott and vice versa for meeting planners? Well, I think uh, what Gaylord brought, I mean, we learned a tremendous amount when we took over this brand. The, the sales organization had tremendous relationship with the customer. They, they didn't chase uh, companies, they chased meetings. Mm -hmm. And that's a big different strategy. We were chasing accounts and then we, we would find meetings in that account where Gaylord would latch on to the particular meeting. Once they latched onto that meeting, they, they taught that meeting how to rotate throughout our brand. So, you know, you take a piece of business of a thousand room piece of business, you take it off the market for five or six years because you signed them up for five years, your competitors out there looking for it, they can't find it anymore. And so that rotation strategy, that multi-year strategy, mm -hmm. it was the biggest learning that we got from Gaylord. And now we've taken that into Marriott and we've done a tremendous job over the last couple years of doing it with our big box hotels in the company as well. And there's a lot of synergies. I, I look at some of these uh, these uh, multi-years that happen and you'll see San Francisco uh, Marquee and the Gaylord Rockies and mm -hmm. you know you'll, you start seeing mix of Gaylord and Marriott hotels in that same rotation which is what we ultimately wanted to happen. Well great well thank you for joining us today. Thank, thank you appreciate it.